Teacher tip 65. Prepare for absentees. Make it easy to reschedule assignments and other activities. It is a fact that some students will miss class, either because of illness or some other reason. So plan ahead for something like that to happen. I suggest having a procedure where if you're absent, you should go to the class captain to find out some work. The students should have access to what they should have done. Also, if you were doing some projects or assignments, have a way for a student to make up that work. This is where it's also very important to have clear communication lines with parents and students so that you can ask the parents what's going on or to deliver the work for the student if it's very important. Teacher tip 66. Use lesson reports to monitor your teaching. Previously, I told you to have a teacher journal where you write down what has happened during the year. Do something similar for lesson reports because some lessons are just better than others. And by monitoring your teaching, you will improve much quicker. You check what works, what doesn't work. You see how the students actually achieve their goals. And you can also monitor what activities you can try in the future. Lesson reports also serve as evidence if somebody from the department came to check on your files, you can say, okay, well, this is what happened in the lesson. It also makes it easier for you to explain what you're doing in the class by looking back on those reports. Teacher tip 67. Make an effort to include all students. Leave no man behind. So that will make them feel valued. If you've got a large class, it's very easy to miss some students. Some students are more vocal or work harder. Some students are a bit more naughty, so you know them better. But in between there are students that are very quiet. They're perhaps not the best students and they're also not the naughty students. So maybe it might be easy to miss them. Make an effort to include all students, not just the good ones and the bad ones, but go for those quiet ones in between too. If you can include all students, it will make them feel valued. Also, other students can immediately see if you are not doing enough for some students. By making everyone part of the lesson, by asking them questions, by giving them a chance to speak, you are building everyone up as a collective. So make sure to include all your students at some point or another. You can even make a note of who you asked before. If you've got a class list, Go through the class list, make sure you ask them questions, check up on them. You don't want any students to fall through the cracks. Teacher tip 68. Observe other teachers when you can. Absorb great ideas to use in your class. Earlier, I said that you should try and find a mentor to learn from. But you can also learn from other teachers. So ask your colleagues if you can sit in on classes. Ask them, listen, what is the best activity for this? When observing other teachers, we can see how they interact with their students. And you can learn from that. I learn something new from every other teacher that is teaching. I look to see what they're doing well, what they're doing differently, and how can I incorporate that in my own teaching. Don't cut yourself off. Open yourself up. So if another teacher asks if they can observe you, welcome them. That will make you a better teacher. And then ask them, hey, listen, can I come and check in on one of your classes? I would love to learn from you. I've learned something new from every other teacher I've met or who I've observed. So do the same, ask teachers to work together. That's the quickest way that we're going to improve.